it is me life simmer and welcome back to sims 3 generations part 10 sorry for the lack of videos everybody i know i know don't hate me um i've just been really busy i've been trying to get paperwork together for my my school because i'm having um a special thingy going on that i need to get prepared for i guess uh so i hope you guys are okay with that but i i am less busy now uh today was probably my last um busy day so thank goodness <laughs> i'm so freaking happy that it's like over with like i don't have to worry about anything like that anymore but let's go ahead and get into the game in the last part we had baby penelope penelope fenderson and she is so freaking cute like i always say they're cute when they're little because they all look the same but you can tell that she's like a cute baby <laughs> she will be hopefully what if she comes out like aubrey for my sims 2 lp which is really old and terrible by the way any who's um okay so i was thinking maybe they should have like a nice little family day we have one day until spring so maybe go enjoy the little bit of the winter festival that we have left which is right over there um so i'm thinking that could be something we could do we can also i forget does luna know how to uh i don't think she knows how to walk so i think we're gonna go ahead and after we have some breakfast i think we'll uh teach her how to pick up teach her how to again talk walk actually no i think we did teach her how to walk and talk one of, one of them i don't remember oh my gosh that's so sad okay the house is also disgusting so we'll go ahead and clean that up too Oh, ooh, ooh. I totally <laughs> I'm so all over the place. She does have enough money for the um inheritance thingy, but let's go ahead and see if there's anything else that came with generations cuz I totally forget um that you know, we could use. I'm pretty sure that there was more um but I'm not positive probably something over here i just don't know i'm pretty sure there was something for the daycare career but i could be wrong i think i am wrong <laughs> oh the hover bed did that come with it it did it did okay so we're gonna go ahead and actually purchase the hover bed um because that came with the sims 3 generations and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and revamp the room a little bit even though we have like no money okay literally we have like no money um go ahead and sell everything you guys can chill with me oops 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 there we go um actually you know what? i'll do it off camera oh my god i just almost spilled my drink all over me <laughs> that was like a man's voice anywho um i'm gonna go ahead and um oh yeah i totally forgot about this stuff uh sell that we need money Go ahead and place everything in the room and make it all pretty. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I couldn't decorate too, too much. And I tried to place curtains, but with this damn circled uh, window, it's almost like impossible. But I did use the future loft set a little bit and the hover bed and all that cool stuff. And I think everything else is from stuff packs and yeah and expansion packs but this is the hover bed if i go ahead and press that you guys can see that it actually hovers above the bed well wait above the ground <laughs> it's really really cool and this came with the sims 3 generation so like i was saying before it's only twenty thousand um lifetime reward points so in a matter of time we'll be able to get our inheritance also or maybe we'll do another um another thing that came with generations if there is another one i can't exactly remember but i think that's pretty neat you guys hear screaming footballs on so <laughs> but um and, uh, i think we're gonna have justine go ahead and shower up really fast and i think we'll have her head out for a little while also don't forget the brand new trailer for sims 3 movie stuff will be released on my channel august 13th six hours beforehand and um I'm really excited. I I receive it, I think, Monday or something like that. And I'm, like, dying to see what's, like, in it. So I have to wait a whole, like, day before I can share it with you guys. But I totally am, am like, so excited. <laughs> so excited. But she's going to use the restroom. I'm trying to think. It's only 3 p.m. And it looks like it's, like, friggin' 10 p.m. at night or something. Um, yeah. 
But maybe they can go to a movie. Or not. Never mind. Maybe we can all go out to eat. Uh huh? I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll head to the... Oh, drinks at the end zone. That's where we can go. I totally forgot about that place. We will call a babysitter and go get some drinks. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll just leave the house. <laughs> um, Drinks at the end zone. I mean, not Penelope. Joseph. I mean, they, the kids could come. And I did, you know, customize that place a little bit. And kids have shown up in there, but that's, like, not why I made it. It's, like, to me, it's supposed to be, like, a bar, but I didn't want to make it a bar because I wanted it to be open 24-7. That makes any sense. So we're going to head there. Oh, I'm a little stuffed up. We're going to head there with Joseph. Is he Is he freaking taking the kid? Hold on. No. Put Luna down in there. It's a night out with your wife. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. And then we will uh, head on out. Hurry the friggin' shiznits up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Football's definitely on. Call babysitter. Let's go. Okie dogs. Here we are at Drinks at the End Zone. I did customize this place. I'm pretty sure I showed this to you guys before, too. Um, it's really, really simple. Just a place where uh, people can come and chill, get some drinks, and relax. Uh, I think we will go ahead and place an order. We will order um, some hot wings, and we will order, well, we, we're both of them, so some sushi, and uh, let's order our food. It's like they're going out to dinner, but I'm using the, what's it called? I totally forget. <laughs> what's it called again? Justine. Justine. No chefs are available to take an order right now. Um, what the hell? What the hell? I will do that. Wait, let me set hours for life. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Place an order. Sushi. Let's do this again. <laughs> sushi and hot wings, which actually sound, both of those things sound really, really good. Like some sour cream and su some sour cream and I think, I don't know what's in it again. There's like a sour cream and something like some sort of fish. It's so good. I love it. Mm. Oh, I went to this really cool sushi place before that you basically all you do is you pay like I think a dollar to get in and then you sit down and the food the sushi is like rotating around you so it's like you sit down at a bar and like the bar thingy is moving if this makes any sense and like it's just rotating sushi and you pick what you want and then the plates are colored and whatever colored plate is like a certain amount of money it's really freaking cool it's really hard to explain but I Went to a sushi place like a couple of weeks ago. That, that's what it was. It was really, really neat. Oh, Cassandra Goth, you're here, you little mm, C U N T. Um, we invited you to our snowball, snowball, snow day party, and you never came. You're rude. Went there. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. And they're just chilling at the table, enjoying the music. <laughs> um, oh, he can streak. You cannot do that because children are nearby. Who would bring their kids to a place where, you know, oh, upstairs is so ugly. Let's not go up there. I don't see any kids, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Not going to argue. Okay. Why are the lights turned off too? What the hell, you guys? Hey. Alrighty. I am, um... Let's have them fast forward this a little. It looks like they're sitting on nothing, actually, right now. <laughs> nothing at all. Alrighty. Don't talk to us! Goodness! You. Oh my god, he's so scary. He is so scary. He is really freaking scary. Ew. Okay, let's go over here and play some darts with Justine really quick. 
He wants to go bowling with his friends, so maybe we'll do that uh, tomorrow. We'll go bowling, because I did play some really crappy bowling alley that I made a while ago uh, when University came out. It's so ugly, <laughs> but it will do the job. But um, I think they're just going to enjoy the rest of the night. Maybe woohoo, maybe try for another baby. Hmm? I think that'd be fun. And uh, if they do so, I will... Get back to you guys. Okay, just thought I'd point this out. Whoever the hell that babysitter was sucks major dingling because, okay, football really. Oh my god, shut up! I don't care if you're losing or winning. You are screaming and I'm trying to film. Anyways, back to the dingling thing. Um, whoever was babysitting sucks because our kids are in a terrible mood. Really, though. Like, our kid is starving. And is in the wrong crib. Oh, that's what somebody said. That Penelope's room should be purple. And you know what? I freaking love that. Whoever you are, thank you. I thought it was an awesome idea. Um, so we're definitely going to have to do that. Because it's like, it's like girly but with edge, you know? So I really like that. Um, so we're going to come up here and freaking feed our kid. Like, are you kidding me? In the yard. <laughs> insert that music now because that's really sad and our other kid smells like shit so we're gonna go ahead and change luna and then um i think we should wait until penelope is a toddler to try for another baby kind of like we did with luna and penelope i don't know we're gonna wait yeah we're gonna wait until she's a toddler to try for another baby um take her time with having kids did she learn how to walk I think she did. Or maybe she didn't. Let's see. Let me click on her. Okay, actually. Click. There we go. Um, I guess we did. Awesome. We didn't potty train her, though, which she grows up today. Ooh, so we'll have to have a birthday party for her later on tonight. Alrighty, guys. So, never mind. I guess they're not going to try for a baby. Maybe in, like, the next uh, couple of parts. But let's go ahead and see her get into the hover bed. I actually really like the hover bed. I never use it. I really should. I actually really like it. It looks very modern. Like, this would look so cool in, in a, an apartment in, like, Bridgeport or something. I think that'd be awesome. Alrighty, like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and put Luna in her crib, and I'll get back to you guys uh, in the morning. Alrighty, so it's Luna's birthday today, so we are definitely going to purchase her a cake and throw her a little party. Because her first birthday party, we didn't do shit. So, um... Let's go ahead and invite, not invite, let's throw a party and invite some people over. There we go. And, uh, let's see. Who will actually show up? Who actually cares about us? Oh, not at. Damn me. Throw a party. Come on, Justine. Yeah, laugh, laugh, laugh. Alrighty, uh, Tabby Claremont, uh, Zahara, Cassandra... Pansy, Angela, Lilith, and who else? Um, let's let's invite Darlene. She is, if you guys remember from The Sims 2, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but The Sims 2, she uh, was the widow of Darren Dreamer, and I thought that was really cool that they put her in here. So, yeah. Let's make a birthday party. Make it a birthday party. Can't talk. And it will start at 12 p.m. Eh. And the dress code will be casual attire. There we go. Okay. Let's go downstairs and purchase a uh, cake really quick. And, uh, ooh, inflate and celebrate. I've never seen this, actually. I guess we can put that outside. <laughs> I wonder what Oh, I, this came with the... Ew, never mind. This came with the Prius thingy from The Sims 3 uh, store. I'm over here. Hmm, wonder what that is. It has, like, freaking cars on it. We'll put these ones. <laughs> okay, actually, with that being said, um, when we do get more money, I do want to purchase one of these because they are really cute. Um, because they're, like, real cars, so I'm, like, head over heels about them. So we'll definitely have to get one of those. <laughs> I think it's so cute. 
but it is officially spring, so hopefully the snow will start uh, thawing out a little bit. But um, because she's going to grow up, we're going to have our first look at the <laughs> walking, talking uh, imaginary friend, which is going to be pretty scary. That toilet is disgusting. Go ahead and clean that before freaking friends come over. That'd be awesome. And um, we also need to cook a good meal for... We'll make it pancakes for Angela Pleasant, which is our friend, so... Hopefully that will be easy. Alrighty. Justine's party is starting a little. Yep. Alrighty. Do this. Hopefully it comes out as a good meal. It should. Hi, girl. Alrighty. Once she's done with that, I will just go ahead and... Is it good? It is normal. Are you kidding me? Ugh! You know, we'll leave those out for people to eat. Let's go ahead and blow the candles out. Luna Fenderson. Hey, girl. What's good? <laughs> Zahara's on her computer. Tabby's over here. She looks pregnant, which she's a teenager, so I doubt that. That's, like, not possible unless my game was modded. Um, oh, they're bringing food. Thank goodness. Can we steal one of these? Normal, normal. Damn. All right, we received our $200 uh, a week for our daycare business that we have not ran in so long. Uh, we have Darlene, Lilith, um, Tabby, Pansy. Who the hell are you? Who are you? Who invited you? Oh, goodness. People are always inviting themselves, really. This chick, Lola, Zahara, uh, Angela. Who's outside? Kitty Price, you weren't invited either, so please. What's up with the old people trying to get in? <laughs> Katrina, you weren't invited either, so this is a little creepy. But here we go. And she's crying because she's tired. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was weird. So go ahead and uh, blow these candles out. She's so cute. Look at her. She's so freaking cute. Okay. Blow the candles on. It's, uh, we should record this, to be honest, but too late. Oh. Who has the camera? Who has the camera? <laughs> record home video. Go. Go, Joseph. Go. Yes. Okay, hold it in. Hold it in. Come on, we got this. We got this. Come on. There we go. Alrighty, cool. Um, she got the technophobe trait, okay. And let's see what she looks like. My sims are always for, I think this happens to everybody though. Their sims are like cross-eyed whenever they grow up. She's really cute. She's really cute. Celebrated birthday from eating birthday cake. Aw. Making friends. <laughs> Playtime with the best friend is a, a bundleness of joy. Oh, boundless joy. Oh. <laughs> Keeping each other happy and in a good company. Um, so as you guys know, these dolls freak me out. We're gonna go ahead and host a tea party <laughs> with um well, with what's his name? Snuggles? Um, well, don't eat your cake. You'll be okay. Go host a tea party with Snuggles. You guys will actually see this thing come alive. It is... Snuggles is um, invisible right now. So freaking scary. Snuggles is, once again, like I said, invisible right now. If you guys can see this. Um, why? Why is Snuggles invisible? She's taking Snuggles' order, I guess. Maybe we should wait, but pretty much she puts us down. Say there's like a doll right there, and it comes alive. At least I thought it did. Maybe I'm wrong. Anywho, let's see. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just place it down and it comes alive. Who peed themselves? 
I'm not even going to question it. And whose dog is here? <laughs> Savvy little dog. Okay. We're going to have uh, Luna go ahead and change her appearance a little bit. You know what I noticed? Cassandra freaking goth did not show up again. Oh, that is such a cute mirror. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you know what? No, we won't put it there. I won't be weird. Alrighty, let's go ahead and change her appearance really quick. And then, um, I think we'll end the part once we're done doing that. Alright, so who's like, somebody's like over there ruining the party. Just throwing that out there. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and give her a new hair. Let's see what we got. I personally, I'm not like a huge fan of this hair from Island Paradise. So we won't do that. We'll use something over here. It's springtime, but we could totally still use this right here, but maybe we won't. Um, maybe we'll give her like cute little braids or something. Um, let's see the hair that came with Generations. We have this one, which is like a bun. This one, which is kind of like the one from Late Night uh, that adults have. This one, which is like long. Some pigtails. And then, oh. This one, which to me, it looks like a, like a little, a little boy's hair. So I never noticed it, I guess. Um, then we have this, which are super freaking cute. That these little hats right here. I love these hats. I use them like all the time on my toddlers. Like I think every time to be honest, but, um, I'm thinking we might do these pigtails right here. Um, or maybe, not pigtails, these braids. Um, yeah. Either this, which is super freaking cute. But it's not winter time anymore. Or this, uh, which I think is more appropriate for spring. So, yeah, we'll do that. Let's fix her eyebrows. <laughs> Give her some really long, pretty lashes, as usual. As usual. <laughs> That's what I always do. Alrighty. What a cutie. She's really cute. <laughs> she has like tan skin. I definitely think she looks like her mom for sure. She kind of looked like her dad when she was younger, but to me now she kind of looks like her, her mom. I don't know. She looks like her dad a lot too. I don't know. That one's hard. She looks like both of them to be honest. Look at Joseph over here fangirling. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and change her appearance really, really fast. And then, um, oh, she can't do it because of the damn plant. Hold on. Okay. Now play on your outfit. Alrighty. Okay. Um, let's go into her everyday wear. And I'm thinking... Just something really simple. I'll only show you guys me doing her everyday wear. That's kind of like the only thing I care about. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll use something kind of springy. Like this like little sundress. Which is super cute by the way. Uh, this little bikini. This is the bikini that I um, missed on my... What's it called again? I forget. The, the last door set. I can't even remember the name. Sun and the Fun. <sighs> Uh, no, that's not what it is. Sun surf. Oh, I don't even know. Um, but this one, this is the one I missed, and it's super freaking cute. I love it. But I think we're gonna give her this little um sundress right here, and uh, just customize it a little bit, make it purple. No, that can be white, and then this can be not black, but the light. Purple, if I can make that color. Probably can't because I'm terrible making colors. Oh, oh, look. Totally forgot about this. Wow. <laughs> like that. Alrighty. And let's give her some, like, oh, those shoes will work, actually. Alrighty. And her outerwear is what I'll... Oh, wait, here's some wear. <laughs> Why am I super excited over that little bikini? Oh. Oh, look at her hair's down for her swimwear. Mm. Alrighty. And like I said before, her outerwear. And other than that, I could care less. 
we'll give her oh actually we need to change her pajamas because something really cute came with generations uh we'll give her a little jacket and some little jeans <laughs> and some little snow boots no those don't look great doesn't matter no, not really we'll give her some little no boots rain boots because badasses wear rain boots all right there we go um and her sleepwear which to me were the cutest things ever um generations came with wait that generations came with really really cute um monster feet claw thingies i remember when i was a kid i always wanted a pair of these and i never had a pair so i literally use these all the time because you know that, that was like my childhood dream was to have big claw feet <laughs> one day one day i will buy a pair <laughs> Happy slipping. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye, guys. Love you. Uh. <laughs>